When we got to my hotel room, we immediately had sexual intercourse. This is Tristan talking. Oh, this is her. Hi. Hi. Did you see what I sent you? No, hang on. What the f is this? The audacity Trashton has. Hi, YouTube. I'm Amanda Hirsch. And I'm Colt Paulson. And we're your hosts of Cards Catch Up with E! News. We finally get to see the Kardashians actually pissed off at Trashton. Let's recap what happened, Colt. So it's 6.30 in the morning in hazy Calabasas. Kim is up ready to work out, and the crew gets summoned. Guys, uh, let's get to the gym right now. I don't know what's going on. A shooter roll on whatever two of them. The producers wasted no time. There was no hello. There was no nothing. It was get in and film her because shit is going down. And she gets right into it. She talks to Chris. It's his whole thing saying, I'm Tristan Thompson. Met this girl in Houston. I slept with her on my 30th birthday. And then she hangs up and moves on to Kylie. This is Kylie. I gotta go. And then she merges in. Courtney. Hold on. Let me merge in Courtney. Hold on. But why couldn't Chris be merged? Like, hang up on Chris, but we're gonna merge Courtney and Kylie that can't do Tell me about your makeup journey. Like, if anyone's gonna get it done, it's Chris Jenner. And they're all just trying to digest the fact that Kim is reading this court declaration where Tristan is saying, yes, I had sex with this woman. This is paperwork that he's filed that says, the only time I had sexual intercourse was in March, 2021 in Houston, Texas. The petitioner does not recall when I had sexual intercourse with her. Therefore, I do not know if the claims that I am the father of the child are supported by facts. Do you think Kim said declaration that many times to show us that she like is a lawyer? His whole declaration, he wrote a whole, whole declaration. This is his whole declaration. She's like, let me read this declaration. Let me read this declaration. And every time she's talking, she's like, that is her. Petitioner, which is the girl. And you guys, this is Tristan speaking. This is Tristan talking. You're like, we couldn't rationalize who wrote the declaration. Listen, I mean, she took the bar three times. Let's give her credit. Four. <laughs> and then she was like, I'm literally crying, you guys. As she's like, I'm not wasting any time. I can multitask and do my bicep workout while I'm dealing with this. Like Kylie Jenner saying he's the worst human being alive. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the only one that thinks that. And I love how Kylie was literally like, this is her sign. Like, this is her sign. This has to be the sign. Which makes me believe that none of them like him ever. But then she kind of lost me when she said, is this just a never ending swirl? This is just a never ending like swirl. Like what's a swirl? And then dictionary court corrected her and was like, it's never ending betrayal. But it's never ending betrayal is what it is. And that's what I think when we watch the show, it hits a little heavier because Kim's saying Chloe wants a son and now I he's know, having I a son know. with another person. The whole thing that's so sad is she wants a baby boy. And she, now this girl's having a baby boy, a random that he sleeps with one night. Literally, he's filing court documents where he's saying he bone this woman and it's like she said a huge birthday surprise is waiting she wanted to give me a special birthday surprise which i understood to be sex like after chloe threw you your 30th birthday and wrote that cute thing if you remember on instagram like that he's her best friend and blah 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 that is the thing where it's like the audacity trashton has you know what's so shocking that on my podcast when i asked her if tristan gets it now she was like he doesn't fully get it I don't know if the message is fully there. <laughs> like, could you fathom that? Like that makes sense because when they were on the elliptical together, he doesn't seem like he's all there. Like he's not the brightest athlete <laughs> no. on the team. You know what I mean? That's why he's on the bench. If he was a little bit more quick, he'd be shooting free throws and making those three pointers. Wait, Cole, do you know sports? Oh girl, I used to play. Stop. I swear to God. Oh my God, Chloe, just so you know, we're not laughing at you, we're painting and laughing with you. Khloe Kardashian liked my reel of me praying to Kris Jenner that he gets out of the family. Oh, she did? While she was at Portofino, Khloe Kardashian's laughing at us, talking shit about her ex. So I think we're fine. So before this, Kris Jenner let Khloe Kardashian know that Tristan brings up marriage every single time he is around her. All Tristan talks to me about sometimes is getting married. Which that was shocking to me. What was hard to watch was Chloe talking to Chris and saying that marriage is such an important thing to her. She would never rush into it. I love marriage. I believe in marriage. I take it very seriously. I don't just think people should go and get married. 
because it's a Tuesday and they're bored. But I really feel like he was on the tracks to getting married. Like he was on that journey. I'm not with Tristan to just float around with Tristan. I mean, marriage is the end goal. And I don't know how he thought he could get away with it knowing what he knows. Last week's episode, the to be continued wasn't as dramatic, but we still had a to be continued, which was what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh my uh, gosh. Oh, shut up. These are my favorite. Uh, and literally, we all thought it was edible, you guys. We saw in the comments, like, I started to get convinced, like, it had to be, because why wouldn't they show what it is? But it was dibs. 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 But Kanye would bring the dibs factory to, like, Calabasas. I just want whatever Kim wants. Kanye would have bought the whole stock of dibs, <laughs> and Kim would own it tomorrow. She made sure to tell us that she got them when they went to the movies in Staten Island, which sounds like she was talking about like a third world country. We went to the movies in Staten Island and all I wanted was dibs. And like you could only get them at gas stations. But oh you could God. only get them at like gas stations. Have you ever been to one? I mean, my sister just went to her first gas station the other day. We're totally on the wrong side, right? No, this is the gas side. This whole season, everything makes Kim Kardashian horny. The dibs. Oh my you are making me so horny. Cleaning her kid's playroom. I cleaned out the playroom today. Like that kind of stuff makes me horny. Even on her Instagram story when she's promoting KKW fragrance. Literally makes me horny. Kim is horny 24 seven. Though when the producer asked her, so Kim, are you in love? She said, that's none of your business. Are you in love? Um, I don't know if that's any of your business. Tell us if you're in love. Tell us. We want to know. She said that Pete told her from the beginning, like, I'm going to grow on you. Like, you're going to love me. Pete said, I'm going to grow on you. Just just wait. <laughs> He's like, I give it four months in and you're going to be obsessed. And I'm just like, damn, that's where the BD comes from. The confidence comes from the big D. But it's the E, the energy. <laughs> You know my girl Court is my girl. The lunch with Steph Chef on the floor of her bedroom with the quail eggs was the most random sh I have to eat quail eggs every day too. Why? I don't know. Every time she has a scene on the show, it's set up in such a weird way. So how's filming going? Is Travis filming and stuff? Yeah, we like film and have the best time ever and then We've been watching the edits and we're just so annoyed because they're like swirling us in with this drama. Like Scott drama? Mm hmm But it's just mind boggling to me that Courtney just wants to erase that she ever dated Scott Disick. It's enabling this old narrative and buying into something that just doesn't really exist. It should be an empowering episode about having this like fairy tale love story that is my reality. And how many times did she say fairy tale? I mean, drink. Fairy tale, fairy tale, fairy tale, fairy tale. As much as you love Disney and you're a Disney adult, which I have to try to forget every day of my life. Honey, we've got an obsession, babes. Literally, we got to scale back on Mickey's. She wants one episode that she could probably show her kids with Travis. Like, this is our engagement episode. And to have such a big part of it be how is Scott feeling about this and the sisters asking and everything. That night I wasn't like, God, everyone's such assholes for yeah. bringing up this. It wasn't like 50% of the night. Yeah. Like it's made to be made to look yeah. on like an episode. So I totally get her and she's totally breaking the fourth wall, which is wild to me. She said she reviews episodes and she saw it in the edit. We are all executive producers. So we get to see cuts of the show and give notes on episodes and make sure that our stories are being told. So did they not listen to her? But how awkward for the producers to be listening and watching Courtney literally say, you guys need to catch up, but like, you need to get on my level of like where I'm at in my life. I am in one of the best places I've ever been in my life and it's time for our show to catch up. Where it's like, Courtney, that's what the whole show is. We're watching where you're at in your life. They're executive producers. They get to review the footage and edit it before, yet she's saying she hated it and it was still aired. I wish they would take that out and put it in the next episode and give us our respect. So it's like, let us have yes. our moment. Why is the fairy tale not being told? Yeah. Like the true fairy tale that it is. If Scott Disick was a part of the episode and she's editing him out, did she compromise and say, oh, let's just, yeah, put the scenes where the kids were crying instead? <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, we don't want that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week for the finale. Grab your dibs. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> How are you all feeling about starting to see this trash gen drama unfold? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to check out last week's episodes if you missed it. And also make sure you're subscribed so that you're alerted immediately when a new episode drops.